Hello and welcome back to the Nürburgring Grand Prix circuit in Germany for the 12th and final race of the 2015.1 South African Sim Single Seater 3 Series. After an exciting race 1 which saw Bashir Jadwat take a comfortable victory for Squadro Ghostworks. He now lies just 5 points short of Drivers Championship leader Mark Hembury. This time, however, Gabriel Rousseau will start from pole position alongside Mark Embry. Row 2 is shared between Marcus Stein and Osman Fali who had a great qualifying session. Jed White starts this race from 5th position alongside Bjorn Buchner. Chris Heineken, the second of the HRTs, will start from 7th next to Brett Lindsay Ray in 8th position. And Jason Holden Jones will start from ninth for this race. With Bishir Jad White five points behind Mark Hembury in the Drivers Championship, Jad White is going to have to put everything on the line to win this race. And all Mark Hembury has to do is finish in second position to claim the Drivers title. But anyway, the, the race is about to start, and let's see what awaits us. But I think we can look forward to an exciting race. Drivers are ready to start the race. The lights have come on and off we go. Looks to be a good start for Rousseau. He gets the jump ahead of Hembury and Stain. They head towards the turn. We look back now from Rousseau. Hembury trying to run up the inside but it's not close enough. Stain trying to run the outside of Hembury. He's lost out big time. He's run on board with Hembury. Piling on the pressure. Jed Watt already up in upper position to fourth. He moves ahead of Bailey. Chris Heineke in sixth position. Embry running alongside of Rousseau to turn five. Rousseau is having nothing of it. Staying, having to take the face of action there, not to run into the back of Embry. That has allowed Jed Watt to be much closer to him. Stain with a look up the inside of Hembury. Jack White has seems to have a great drive out of the Dunlop curve. But Stain defends successfully through the Michael Schumer cases. Jack White has taken that position from Marcus Stain to move up into third. Good move there into turn 11. And so very defensive into the NGK chicane for the first time. And there's Rousseau who narrowly leads from Hembury to complete lap 1 of 11. We have a fantastic four-way fight for the race lead. So what running wide there exiting turn 1. It's they not able to take advantage of that. Also very defensive now. Absorbing the pressure very well so far. Embry trying to force him into an error. And Embry they're having to back out of that before running into the back of him. On board with Jack White. Breaking for the Dunlop curve. Looking for that good drive up the hill. Just so important. Set yourself up for a move two corners later. Oh, and Gabriel Rousseau has caught the curve and off he goes 
unfortunately he's thrown away the race lead which is now inherited by Mark Embry so you watch the Holden Jones Buchner battle for seventh position and there were three almost four with Heineke catching up there in fourth Jad Watt now trying to go around the outside of Hembury into the edge of chicane. He has compromised the exit there. Can Stain have a go at him? No, he's not quite close enough, but that has enabled Chris Heineke to join the party in fourth position. So it is a Heineke racing team sandwich at the front. With Hembury in first and Heineke in fourth position. Jed Watt and stain the meat in the sandwich as it were as it stands now Mark Embry is the driver's champion but of course we do still have 8 laps to go Oh, there's a huge accident in the background. That is Chris Heineken doing a big barrel roll. See about five rollovers there. Unfortunately, he has to retire to the pits. Remember, Marcus Stein has no impact on the Drivers' Championship as he is a wild card entry for this race. Pakistan will not earn any points during this race. It's purely racing for bragging rights. Embry will be careful here because he actually doesn't have to win this race. He can still come second and still win the driver's title. Better drive out of the last corner. Embry running right wide onto the grass. Jadwat with a great move into turn one. He is our new race leader. Embry will know he doesn't have to win this race to win the driver's title. So we might just let Judd Watt go here with such a big gap back to third position. Jason Holden Jones in fourth position at the moment. Followed by Buchner and Gabriel Rousseau. Osman Fili in 7th and Chris Heineck in 8th. Brayton's Red is exiting the pits after an issue. Definitely, definitely sticking with Chad Watt, not letting him get away too quickly. Holden Jones has gone off. I think he's just managed to avoid the barrier. He will lose two positions to rejoin in sixth position. Feli and Buchner 
running through. So that is Rousseau that's gotten past, not Fali. So we're back now with our race leaders. Still three cars very much in it for the overall, overall race victory. So now recovered to fourth position after his high speed spin at the Michael Schumacher S's. Holden Jones and Buchner carry on the mighty battle from race one into race two. It's good to see. now very close to Hembury about to challenge for that second position we go down the main straight to start lap 6 of 11 Been there for Lindsay Ray on the main straight. There's Jed White who now leads comfortably ahead of the second position battle between Henbury and Stain. Here comes Stain now up there inside into the chicane. Shirley is going to have him. He's made that move stick.
what really piling on the pace now during the closing stages of this race. Buckner maintains position ahead of Holden Jones. This is the battle for fifth position. Suddenly, Stain is all over the back of Jadwat. Jadwat seems to have made a mistake exiting the Mercedes Benz Arena. Stain really having a look up the inside of Jadwat into turn 5. Here comes Henbury challenging Stain for second, but now he decides to pull out of it. Wisely so. This move, he stays in that position, he will win the driver's title. Stain has a go up the inside, great move. We have a new race leader and that is Marcus Stan. So three cars come through to start lap nine. Absolutely nothing in it between these three drivers. Who is going to take victory of this final race to conclude this fantastic season? Oh, where's Judd? What? There he is, he's run wide. Hembury moves up into second position. Reinforcing his chances of winning the driver's title. Rousseau displaying some impressive pace to catch up to the front three. I don't think he has enough time to actually catch up to them. But impressive pace nonetheless. in 8th position
two laps remaining for Marcus Dane possibly to take his first win of the 2015.1 SS3 season. Great on board shots here with Rousseau navigating through the Mercedes Benz Arena. is showing some front wing damage and that will be affecting the front end handling of the car Final lap now with Bashir Jadwat. With Mark Henry ahead of us. Marcus Sen on way to take his first win of the season in just his second race of the season, even though it is the final round. But as Marcus Sen is a wild card entry. Mark Embry will secure maximum points for this race and therefore win the 2015.1 South African Sim Single Seater 3 Drivers Championship. What a great performance it has been for him. His team, Heineke Racing Team, has also secured the team's championship as well. Have I spoken too soon as Judd White pulls alongside outside Hanika. He's going to have a go into the final corner of the race. They are side by side exiting the corner. Who's going to take second position? It is Bashir Judd White. Who takes that second position? By four one hundreds of a second. Congratulations to Marcus Stade for securing the overall victory. Gabriel Rousseau finishes in 5th position, a good recovery drive from him after spinning out from the race lead. Jason Holden Jones has found his way past Bjorn Buchner and he's got enough of a lead on him to secure 5th position. Bjorn Buchner of course this man will take 6th. Chris Heineke will come through to finish in 7th position. Head of Osman Fali in 8th.
Well, that concludes the sixth and final round of the 2015.1 South African Sim Single Seater 3 Series. Congratulations again to Marcus Dane for securing the final race victory of the season. And congratulations also to Mark Embry for securing the Drivers Championship and his team Heineke Racing Team together with Chris Heineke to win their overall Teams Championship. Very well done to them. From me, Jason Holden Jones, thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to, to subscribe to our YouTube channel.